Hi, YouTube. It's been a minute. Um, I get stuck in like a repetitive pattern of doing things. And for so long, since I've been on YouTube from 2011, um, I would film on a particular camera, capture audio on a different device, splice, like layer the two together, cut the whole video together, all of this on Premiere Pro, which is on my desktop computer. It was a whole thing. So making a YouTube video took a lot of extra time. And these days with TikTok and Instagram video reels, everything's fast, right to the point, and I've been making a lot of videos for those channels, but I've missed you. I've missed doing beauty favorites. I need to get this hair out of my mouth. Um, so here we are. I'm recording this on my phone and I feel like a new woman. Let's get into the good stuff, okay? All right, we're gonna start with two hair products. Um, I have told you about the Renee Furter Karate Nutri. It's all French. It's a nourishing ritual, intense nourishing oil, very dry hair. This is a pre-shampoo treatment. Wash this out. It says on the directions you only need about five to 10 minutes of this in your hair before you wash it out, which I've certainly done. I've also left it in for longer than that. I like to spray it in before I get a morning workout on and then I'll shower after my workout and rinse out the oil then, shampoo out the oil. This is an incredibly softening treatment for your hair. If your hair feels dry, if it feels like straw, if it looks like straw, a spray oil like this is kind of a little bit of a nod to those hot oil treatments. I don't know if you ever did those in the 90s, if you're old enough for that. My mom did a hot oil treatment on me once. And I'm like, wow, my hair is so soft, but I look like a drowned rat. When is this oil gonna get out of here? So the fact that this is a pre-shampoo treatment is very good because you shampoo all of the extra out, but it leaves your hair really soft. So if your hair is dry, this is a winner. Another product to use if your hair is dry is the Oribe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Another hair oil I love that you may have heard me talk about before is the Virtue Healing Oil. That actually heals the hair. It's a great oil. This one though, I feel like it has a little bit more slip to it than the Virtue. So if you're simply looking for softness, a little bit of a little bit of definition around like the ends of your hair, this Orbe hair oil will go a little longer, a little further that for you than the Virtue healing oil. If you're dealing with like very damaged, like if the front ends of your hair are really damaged, go for the Virtue healing oil. I told y'all several months ago that I loved the uh, SkinCeuticals cleanser and the BioElements toner. And then I ended up having this really crazy reaction to it. This was many, many months ago. So I stopped using it altogether. A SkinCeuticals product that I'm extremely loyal to is the Triple Lipid Restore Moisturizer. I love it. So I don't know which of the cleanser or toner caused the reaction to me, but I'm too scared to try it again. So I've been using the Shawnee Darden Cleansing Serum. This is so nice. Shawnee Darden products just work. They work well for me. They aren't overly complicated. I don't know, man, great results. So if you're looking for a cleanser, I've been using this one for the past few weeks and really, really love it. So I used to be a morning workout person, but lately I've had a hard time getting back on that horse. I just feel tired. So eye patches have been my go-to if I need to look really fresh and bright, or if I just have time for a little self-care. Like this has been, it just feels so indulgent to like put these eye masks under your eye. You can store them in your fridge. I don't, but they're a little cold to the touch on their own. But you can see here, you just put it under your eyes and then whenever I'm ready to take them off, I'll just lift off the eye mask and then just rub the product in so I can just continue getting those benefits. So let's shift into makeup products. I have three specific ones I wanna highlight for you today. This is a Chanel. It's, it's like a cream eyeshadow. You could certainly use it as such, but it's much smaller than other cream eyeshadows I've used. Can you see that there? It is the perfect shadowy eyeliner look without being too bold of an eyeliner. Sometimes I don't like a really heavy, dark, line of liner on my upper or lower lash line. I want my eyes to look big. So adding just a little bit of a contour essentially behind the lashes with this does a great job. Now, this price point is a Chanel price point. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head and I don't wanna misspeak, but I did find something for about half the price. Let me see if I get the right one here. Julep, I found this on Amazon. They make a color, this is called Stone Matte. 
it's bigger. It's more like that typical cream eyeshadow size. So you have to be a little bit more concentrated with it if you want to use it like an eyeliner. But this color is almost identical to the Chanel number 12 that I just showed you. Got too much in my hands here. Um, it's just a different size. Can you see that? So I have an easier time using this. You get a little bit more color payoff, but for a lower price option that you could also use as an eyeshadow all over or in the crease area. This one from Julep is really nice. I have two of these from Julep, but the uh, stone matte color is the closest. I'll link all this below the video. You know the deal. On the blush front, I got two products. I've had this Rare Beauty, I think it's called Soft Pinch. The name isn't on here the color is happy. I got this blush several months ago and then I more recently added the blush brush into the mix because I always use a Makeup by Mario blush brush that they don't make anymore. And y'all ask me, what brush do you use with cream or liquid blushes? And I say this one and they do not sell it. So now I have one that I can recommend that I have used and can tell you it's good. Look at the shape of it. It's kind of flat on an angle and you can just kind of dot and blend the product in right at the, your cheeks. Blend it up if you want to. This is a great blush brush. The last product I wanna highlight that I have told you before, but I found it again in my lip drawer and was like, dang it, why don't I wear that every day? Is the uh, Armani Lip Power Lipsticks. This is 108, yeah, 108. I also have 503. These last so long. If you are doing anything, anything at all, where you wanna put lipstick on, never think about it again, just know it's gonna look great all day. The Armani Lip Power Lipsticks last forever. They've just added a few new colors as well. I may or may not have just ordered two more colors. They're really, really nice. I like the shape of them as well. They come in like a teardrop shape, so it's really easy to apply. This is 503. These are my two most worn pinks. Um, but I cannot say enough great things about this. I don't know why I kind of forgot about it. I mean, I do know why, because I love buying lipstick and trying new ones, but these are great for long wear. Okay, the last thing, I feel a little premature about this, but my confidence is drawn from someone else. You know, Andrea Ali, she's here on YouTube. Follow her. I've learned so much from her. She is such a pleasure to watch. She's a makeup artist based in Paris. Oh my gosh, I love her. Um, she recommended the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I'm in shade Cotton Candy 2.3B. Now, you know I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I still do. But I wanted to find something that was a little bit of a fuller coverage for those days that I'm just like, I need so much help under my eyes. But I didn't want the intense, the Shape Tape level intensity. Shape Tape's a beast. She is full coverage. She is very matte. And I felt like it wasn't vibing with the rest of my makeup easily. This Huda Beauty one is such a nice, it is like Shape Tape and NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Got married, had this baby. It is very good. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up there. It's good to be back here. I hope you guys got some good recs from this. More YouTube videos to come for sure, or you can just look at my past beauty favorites. I'm really picky about what I include in beauty favorites. I have to have had a lot of time with it before I add it in here. So if you're looking for recommendations, I direct you to those older videos.